Hey everyone, according to Wizards of the Coast, 2020 is a year of Commander. We have Commander Legends coming soon, and we just had two Commander pre-constructing decks with Zendika Rising. I am not a big fan of every new product, especially the secret layers, but I love this one. I think this is the best product Wizard created since the Challenger decks. These decks are very affordable, only $20 each, and are full of interesting synergies, powerful Commander staples such as Soaring or Arcan Signets, and contain some really good reprints. I booked these two decks and I love the sneak attack deck. It is very fun to play and I love the idea of playing a tempo deck in Commander, drawing tons of cards and milling my opponent. The deck can easily compete with the other, more expensive pre-constructed decks released earlier this year, even though this one is twice as cheap. But deck building and upgrading is one of the best parts of the game and today I will give you ideas on how to upgrade your sneak attack deck at a reasonable price. First, let's look at the mana base. We are not playing a slow control deck, and we don't want too many lands that come into play tapped. So let's remove Dimir Guildgate, Submesh Boneyard, Joa Isle Refuge, and Dismal Backwater. We can also remove Mirror Landscape, because that land is too slow. We can add Darkwater Catacomb, which got a reprint recently, Sunken Hollow, and Exotic Arcade. Exotic Arcade will give us the mana we need most of the time if we play a 4 players game. And we will go from 38 to 36 lands, which is enough in this deck. But we will also add 2 mana rocks, Everflowing Caress, and Prismatic lands. Even though these won't give us colored mana, they come into play untapped and only cost 2 mana. We don't want Open into Wonder, it will only work once and most of our creatures are flying or another form of evasion. So let's replace it by Reconnaissance Mission, this will give us more cards over the course of the game, and we can always cycle it if it is not needed. We will get rid of the expensive reanimation spells, so let's take out the very slow Fated Return, Endless Obedience, Rise from the Grave, and Extract from Darkness. Let's also take out Final Embrace. And we will add more rogues and faster cards instead. Nightshade Stinger is a great addition, it has flying and only costs 1 mana. Blast Pool Mimic can be a land, we can also copy your best creature. Heroic Squad can be very cost efficient, it's a nightmare for combo decks, allowing us to exile help combo pieces. Finally, while not a rogue, Dusk Mentor Guild Mage will also deal way more damage to our opponent, thanks to its first ability. But we will also add Minecraft, and the Minecraft Guild Mage combo can instantly win us the game. I will also remove Cyclo, add 5 mana plus 3 to equip it, I think this equipment is way too slow. So let's replace it by the Mask of Memory that will give us card draw and can be played earlier. Finally, since we added two fast mana rocks, we can remove two or four slower mana rocks, Dimir Kirion and Commander Sphere. We will add one more threat, Zaretan the Trickster, that can be a nice combat trick, it is a rogue, and will allow us to reanimate any creature for an open graveyard. The last guy I would like to add is Negate. This counter spell will uh, counter board wipe, a targeted removal, or even a combo piece. And the total cost for this upgrade is less than $20, these are 15 cards, and I know this almost doubles the price of the deck, but this will make a big difference, and you can always buy the pieces one at a time. Now let me know what you think of these choices, tell me in the comments how would you upgrade this deck, and I'll see you next time!